Hi, Crystal here from Crystal Co Design. We are going to learn how to crochet this cute little sunflower applique, or if you use cotton yarn, you could use it for a coaster. And you will need a five millimeter hook, and the yarn I use is a number four worsted weight yarn. The one here is pictured in Red Heart Super Saver in bright yellow and coffee, the dark brown. It's only about 25 yards of each color. And like I said, if you want to use it for a coaster, you can substitute out cotton yarn. We're just working in worsted weight here. Okay, we're going to start with our brown yarn, and we're making a magic circle to get started. And I'll just chain one to start. Insert my hook in the circle, yarn over, pull up the loop. Then yarn over and insert my hook back in the loop. Yarn over and pull up one more loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops and then chain one. We're going to use both of those top stitches. Okay. I'll mark the first one with the stitch marker here just so we don't get confused. I know this dark yarn is very hard to see. Okay, now we'll repeat that again. Okay, keep repeating that mini beam with the chain one until you have made six of them, which will give you 12 stitches because you'll count the mini beam, the first stitch you make, and then the chain. Here, I'll zoom in a bit for you while I make it. For this last one, I'll slow it down. Okay, when I have made six mini beans in the magic circle, I can pull my tail to close it. And then it's time to join my round. And the stitch marker shows me where to join it. You're going to use a slip stitch to join the last stitch in the first one and then you can remove the stitch marker and we'll move on to round two. You should be able to count 12 stitches around, six mini beans and six chain ones. Chain one loosely to start your round and then we're going to mini bean stitch in each stitch around. Place your stitch marker in the first stitch. Okay, I'll work a few more mini beans here and then I'm going to work the rest of the round off camera and then we'll finish round two together. Okay, I'm on my last mini bean stitch here before I join. And remember, you're making 12 mini beans, which also add the chain one, so you'll have 24 stitches to count in round two. Then you'll join to the first stitch, marked by the stitch marker here with the slip stitch, and then we're ready for round three. Okay, for round three, we're going to start with our chain one loosely, and then we'll mini bean in the same spot where we are, the same stitch, and the next stitch. Then we're going to skip one.
Okay, I've marked my first stitch. I've worked my mini bean stitches in my first two. Now I'm going to skip the next one and work a mini bean in the following stitch. Then we'll work another mini bean in the next stitch. Then skip the next stitch. Keep repeating that around. Work a mini bean in one stitch, work a mini bean in the next stitch, and then skip one. Okay, when we get back around to the end, our last stitch will be a skip a stitch, and then we'll slip stitch to our first stitch there. And that completes the center of our sunflower. You should have 32 stitches, 16 mini beans with the 16 chain ones. And if you're going to be sewing this down, you'll want to leave a long brown tail here. And it's time to change to our yellow yarn. So I'm just going to pull up a long loop here and cut that. Okay, so I'll put my yellow yarn on my hook with a slip knot, and then I'm going to join two of my brown center rounds with a slip stitch and just get started on our petals for a sunflower. So we'll start in the first stitch here that we have of the round. And we're going to start with chains, so we can just slip stitch this on here and trap that brown tail, pull it tight so we don't let that round get loose. And we're going to start with the chain four. We're going to work back into the same stitch down there with a treble stitch. To treble crochet, I'm going to yarn over two times, insert my hook back into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one treble crochet. Now we're going to chain four, and then we'll slip stitch this back into the same stitch. So we've worked into the same spot three times. And this forms one petal for our sunflower. Now we're going to repeat that in the next stitch. We're going to slip stitch over there, so make a slip stitch into the stitch next to this one. Then we'll start with our chain four again, and then our treble crochet back into the same stitch. And then finish with our chain four back into the same spot. And that is our second petal made. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that around. Let me show you here a second. There you go. As we go, they're going to get really full and filled up, which is great and exactly what we want. Um, but you'll have to really make sure that you are seeing the stitch and not skipping any. And I'm going to make a few more here on camera, and then I will just finish off camera, and we'll finish up together.
Okay, I have one more petal left to make. I have one stitch left here. So I am going to slip stitch over to that and make one more petal. And then we will join and finish up here. Okay, to join the petal round, I'm just going to slip stitch down here at the base of this first chain four that we made, and then I'll pull the yarn through and cut that, and it'll be time to weave in ends. Okay, so you can see it's pretty wavy, which is what we want, because we want these petals to look really full, and it almost looks like two rounds of petals. So if you arrange them a little, you can see every other one up, down, up, down. How full and realistic the sunflower can look. Okay, our finished size is about four and a half inches across, including the petals. Okay, you can see the size is really nice for a glass. If you want to use it for a coaster, I recommend using cotton yarn or cotton blend if you want to do the coaster or you can sew it on to another piece of crochet or even fabric. If you're using fabric, you'd wanna use a sewing needle and thread, but crochet on crochet, you can use that long brown tail and a yarn needle to sew it on. I have this little shawlette here, and I'm going to show you how to sew it on so that you can applique it onto another piece. And I am going to do it in a way that you won't see the stitches through the back. Okay, first you wanna get your flower in position and we are gonna sew around the top of our last brown round since we're using the brown thread and then that way the yellow petals are free to move and have that texture. So I'm just threading my yarn needle there with the long tail and I'm going to go into the stitches but I'm only gonna go across the surface like the front two strands of yarn and then that way it doesn't go through to the back. And then I go back up into the sunflower, just so the, along the top of the stitch, like the same place you crochet. And then you just go down, back through the flower. And again, I'm not just poking straight through down into the chalet or the blanket or whatever you're using, but I go through and then I'm looking for those stitches so that I can go in between up and down and around. Okay, once your applique is secure, you can weave in your ends. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love it if you stop by the blog, christacodesign.com, where you can find this pattern and more free patterns and tutorials.